This week is based on sales book of business. Now, if you've heard that, or maybe you haven't heard that, I'm going to tell you what it is. A book of business is ultimately all of the opportunities that you currently have in your business. Now, when I say in your business as an owner, that's in your business. But as a sales rep, it's still, it's in that sales rep's business. And that's why it's called a book of business. It is ultimately all of the opportunities that allow you to be able to cultivate, grow, or maintain your customers. Because at the end of the day, a sales rep is here to be able to increase the amount of revenue that we have. And with the system that you're using, assuming that you are using some type of CRM system, uh, paper doesn't work, post-its don't work, Excel sheets don't work anymore, because it doesn't allow us to be able to understand the historical data that helps us create goals. And that's really what the sales part is about, is about achievable goals that help your sales reps win just as much as the company. And there's been way too many situations that I've been in where the salesmen are ultimately lost leaders. And leaders at a point to where they don't know what to do. They don't know how to win the game. And that's what we're going to talk about this week, your book of business. We're going to go through how to audit your book of business. We're going to talk about some of the key points within your book of business that you guys should be focusing on because it doesn't have to be a nightmare. A CRM is a really scary, dirty word to some people, but if you use it right, it can literally be a virtual assistant to you that helps you remember what you need to do, when you need to do it, and they never take a day off. So I'm going to talk a lot about garbage in, garbage out this week. And what I mean by that is that you're never going to get good information out of the system if you're not putting good information in the system. And that comes with habit. That comes with having the right tools to be able to help you do that. The iPhone was an amazing invention that allows us to be able to do voice to text. So the excuse of, I don't have time to input notes, is it no more? We can now talk and it automatically transcribes what we're saying into notes in the system. So there's a lot of different tips, tricks, and tools that we'll be talking about this week, specifically about the book of business. So again, any opportunity that you have to be able to cultivate, maintain, or grow a customer. So sales process is a whole completely different world. What I'm talking about is how do you take the information you have, learn from it, and then be able to put a plan in place that's going to allow you to be able to grow your book of business, hit the sales numbers that you guys need to hit, and understand, well, maybe some of the opportunities you have aren't as good as you thought, or you should put some more attention in other places. All of that we're going to go through this week in the sales book of business side. So hopefully you got something out of this, guys. Like, subscribe. If you guys want to see the rest of the week, show up, because I'm going to be talking about a handful of different parts of your book of business and how to get the most of your sales. My name's Chad Westbrook. I'm the founder of Service Alignment. And if you haven't checked it out, www.makesaleswork.com. We'll get you all the information you need, plus 100% free training for sales reps. If you want to know the 4D sales process, we have it every Tuesday, guys. Thanks. See you in the next video.